PowerhouseTV.com provides you with loads of energy-saving tips and ideas. But here's something you may not know. In 1842, Dr. John Gowrie designed and built an air cooling machine to help bring down the temperature of sick patients. Years later, he gave up his medical career to experiment with different ways to make ice, resulting in the first U.S. patent for mechanical refrigeration in 1851. How many refrigerators do you have in your home? For many families, when they get a new one, they keep the old one. Many times, it's because they don't know what to do with the old one. They just move it to the garage and store extra food in it. Sometimes that food never gets used. The same is true for freezers. These extra appliances can end up costing you extra money every year, up to $115 extra. There is an answer. Many utilities will offer some type of appliance recycling program. Some may even pay you money to pick up that appliance. Those old refrigerators and freezers are taken to a special recycling center. Today, we're going to see how a refrigerator actually gets recycled. Let's check it out. There is a big environmental payoff for recycling refrigerators. Refrigerators manufactured before 1995 contain dangerous refrigerant that has been proven to damage the ozone layer around the Earth. Even refrigerators built before 2005 are insulated with foam that can also harm the environment. You might not know that these appliances also contain lead, mercury, and oil. The Environmental Protection Agency estimates around 9 million refrigerators are thrown out each year. The good news is 90% of them head to a recycling facility so those elements can be disposed of properly. Meet Calvin Eltz. He works at a company that specializes in recycling refrigerators, freezers, air conditioners, and more. Over 20,000 appliances annually. So if we can get these refrigerators stripped out, doors removed, That'd be great. Right. Thanks, Jake. Hey, Calvin. Hey, Megan. Thanks for letting us come in today. This is a great facility. There's a lot going on here. Oh, thank you. How many things do you recycle in a year? Well, each year we recycle upwards of about 20,000 appliances. Wow. And not just refrigerators, right? No, we recycle all sorts of appliances from washers and dryers to dishwashers and stoves. So do you have to treat each appliance differently? Yeah, depending on what type of appliance it is, we do treat it differently. Air conditioners will go in one area where refrigerators and freezers will go on to another. Okay, well we're talking about refrigerators today, so walk us through the process. When someone drops a refrigerator off to you, what is the first thing that you do? So the first thing that we do is we actually remove all the doors, and that's what the guys are doing in back here. They're taking all the doors off so we can expose the components on the inside of the appliance. Once the, the doors are off, we can actually take the components such as the shelves, the aluminum inserts in the door, um, and pull all those out to be recycled accordingly. Once all those are out, we can drill a core sample to test the foam insulation and remove the power cord. Once that's finished, we expose the evaporator and we process it to the next location. Great, take us to the next location. Sure. Follow me. Well, Megan, after we remove the doors and inside components, they come onto a conveyor belt and it gets transferred to the next workstation. The next workstation, we're actually taking and removing uh, hazardous materials such as capacitors, mercury switches in the refrigerators, and then we're extracting the refrigerant from this compressor here. A piercing tool is hooked up where refrigerant is then extracted out through a long hose and stored into a half ton vessel where it can be either shipped out for recycling or disposal. And how much refrigerant comes out of a refrigerator? Depending on the refrigerator, we could have up to a half a pound. Next, let's take out a compressor and show you what's going on there. Now that the compressor is out of the refrigerator, we can remove the remaining materials, such as the evaporator, the copper, the wiring. Do you take all the metal out? We strive to get as much metal out as we can. Well, this is a strange sight, seeing a refrigerator cut in half. Yeah. What we're actually doing here, this is the last and final step. So we're basically cutting it in select areas, gaining access to the foam insulation inside, and we're using our technicians to basically scrape out the foam. It's very labor intensive, but we do it because we want to go above and beyond what the standard appliance recycling typically does. 
Now, Calvin, when all is said and done, how much waste are you keeping from the landfills by recycling all of these appliances? Sure. Our goal is to recycle at least 95% plus of that unit, um, resulting in keeping out 5 million pounds of waste. 5 million pounds. That's remarkable. Yes, it is. Thanks so much. A commendable mission. Thanks, Megan. If you'd like to learn more about appliance recycling, contact your utility company. PowerhouseTV.com provides you with loads of energy-saving tips and ideas. But here's something you may not know. According to Energy Star, Energy Star certified refrigerators use less energy and help us reduce our impact on the environment. If all refrigerators sold in the United States were Energy Star certified, the energy cost savings would be nearly $700 million each year and 9 billion pounds of annual greenhouse gas emissions would be prevented.